Welcome to Beer Disciples. I'm Ross Quintana, and here is another beer that we're going to review today. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, Dale's Pale Ale from Oscar Blues. And uh, Oscar Blues, a uh, little bit about them. They're out of Lyons, Colorado. And uh, this is an American Pale Ale, or APA. And uh, this one in particular is in a can. They're known for... Uh, uh, putting their uh, craft brews in cans um, and if that's new to you uh, then uh, don't be worried uh, they're a really excellent brewer and there's a couple of good brewers out there who are, are using cans because it cuts down on the light um, and uh, there's there's some actual benefits over bottles even though people associate canned beer with being cheap or something um, anyway so uh, this the ABV on this is 6.5% it's got 65 uh, IBUs, so that's looking like it's right in the range of what you would want out of a pale ale, which is going to be kind of a blend of um, hops and malts, and so that sounds about right. And American pale ales typically um, tend to be a little bit hoppier. Uh, the American hops that they use uh, tend to be a little bit hoppier, a little less malty um, in this style compared to other ones. So um, anyway, the... Uh, Malts on this are pale, and uh, pale malts, and then the hops are Northern Brewer for the bittering, Cascade, and Columbus for flavor, um, and then the post boil uh, Centennials for aroma. So those are the hops uh, in here. <clears throat> anyway, Rate Beer has this as a 98 overall, 100 for the style, which is pretty impressive, out of 1,429. Uh, ratings and Beer Advocate has this as a B plus out of 1,312. So let's get to it. Um, like I said, it's got a lot of hype, a lot of street cred on this one. Let's uh, see what the pour looks like here. All right, we're getting some pretty good. Wow, that's a nice color. I like the slow action cascading. That tells me this is going to be uh, fairly malty. Uh, the way uh, you know, I kind of watch how fast the the uh, the head forms, and uh, you can kind of balance that between malt and carbonation to get an idea. You got some pretty big bubbles here, kind of a soapy lacing. Uh, nice, beautiful, uh, golden, um, cloudy. Uh, hazy looking beer. It looks pretty good. I had Hair of the Dog Ruth the other day and that was really impressive in in the glass. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to say uh, on this on appearance out of five, I'm going to give it, it's pretty solid looking, so I'm going to give it a 4.5. Uh, let's go to the nose here. Hmm. So you're getting your hop, a little bit of sweet malt. Uh, a little citrus, slight pine. Uh, it's it's got a drying uh, characteristic that kind of a stringent uh, smell to it. Uh, the nose is pretty good. Um, you know, it's not blowing me away, mm, but it's pretty solid. I mean, it seems pretty well balanced. So that gives me an idea of what I'm going to get when I give it a sip here. Let's uh, so. On the nose, I'm going to go with a uh, four. Hmm. That's pretty good. It's very balanced, which is funny because, like I said, the reason why I don't, you know, I pour it straight down the middle, I like to see the action and see what's going on with the beer. You can get a lot of qualities. You get a different look at it. I'm not just worried about whether I get a good head or a bad head. I want to get an, a good look at it. And uh, this one, I would say, taste-wise, uh, it looked balanced in, in more balanced than the hair of the dog that I had yesterday. Nice and smooth. Um, you have, you know, you have the, those piney hops kind of coming over the middle of that malt body. The malt body is pretty solid. It's uh, kind of silky, clean, and refreshing, and um, 
you know, taste overall, that's pretty good. I mean, uh, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say on taste, I'm going to give that a solid four. Uh, I could go four or five. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I like on this is it's very balanced, and sometimes you want a beer that's out of balance, like you want to be impressed, and you want it to be all bold. And other times, it's, it feels better built when it's all working together. Nothing's out of joint. And that's how this one is. This is very balanced. It's funny, because I rated the uh, 1050 the other day, and for Imperial Russian Imperial Stout, it was very big and surprising in the can. But it's out of my favorite Russian Imperial Stouts, which it is in the top 10, it's very balanced. And so it's funny that their pale ale would come across the same way. Uh, uh, well built and balanced, not too extreme. So on on taste on this one, I'm going to say pretty impressive. Uh, I think it really represents the style. I'm going to go with a uh, 4.5 on this one. Um, and then mouthfeel, I would say it's it's pretty... It's pretty silky, refreshing, clean. You get a little bit of hop up on the top and uh, a nice clean wash, very refreshing, going to be very drinkable. Mouthfeel, I'm going to give it... Um, I'm going to give it probably a four. And then on drinkability, I'm going to go four and a half on this. I, I could probably go five, actually. Uh, very drinkable, very well balanced. Hop profile is good. You get a little piney hop at the end. Um, but it still has some of that clean um, malt body so that, you know, it kind of it, it kind of leaves you okay. And uh, overall, I'm going to give this... Um, I'm going to give this out of the style. This is pretty solid work here. Um, I'm going to go an A- minus on this. On my over... my For the style rating out of 100, I'm going to say is... About a 95, and for my personal um, overall out of all beer styles, for me, I'm going to put this one right at about a 90. Um, uh, it's pretty solid. So, anyway, uh, give you an idea also on some of the awards. This is one because uh, it's got it's got some street cred on it a little bit. Uh, it was named top uh, U.S. Pale Ale by New York Times, Gold Medal 2010 beer, World Beer Championships, World's Best Canned Beer from Details Magazine, Top 5 American Pale Ales from Rate Beer, Gold uh, Medal Stockholm Beer and Whiskey Festival, and Top Colorado Export um, from 5280 Magazine. So uh, to give you an idea of some of the other uh, styles that this is in, this is number 5 uh, on, on Rate Beer. Uh, other local options that you could get in the Eastern Washington, Washington area are Bitter American, 21st Amendment. I rated that a B plus, And actually, it's more of a session version of this. So if you want a lighter, very well balanced, then Bitter American would be on top of my list from 21st Amendment. Um, Hair of the Dog Ruth, I gave an A-. minus. Basically, compared to this, it has a little more grapefruit notes, a little more body... Um, uh, you know, a little bit of a more, uh, this is definitely more balanced version. Um, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale is number 11 on Beer Advocate, and you can get that around here. I haven't tried that, but it's rated high, so it's one I'm actually looking forward to out of the APAs. And then Lagunitas Correction Ale is number 10 on Rate Beer, so you can pick that up. Well, you can join the conversation on Facebook with us by searching Beer Disciples. And if you'd like to uh, comment, feel free to comment below. Tell me what you think of the beer reviews, of the beer if you've had it, uh, good or bad. And uh, you leave a comment below. You know, beer is social, and so you got to join in the conversation. Um, you can also uh, email us at thebeerdisciples at gmail.com. And uh, if you've got suggestions for beer reviews you'd like us to do, uh, send it up here. If I can get this stuff, I'll review it. If you're in the eastern Washington area, uh, I'm in Spokane, and you want to be a guest on the show, bring a beer by. We'll review it uh, together. And uh, if you want to send me beer mail 
or uh, or have me review a beer that you have uh, online. Um, not the beer online, but if you want me to review it, um, send it to me. You can contact me at, at my Gmail account and uh, get me the beer, whether you're local or whether you need to send it, and uh, I'll review it for you and uh, give you a special shout out for sending it to me. Anyway, I will say uh, until next time, this is definitely one, obviously, number five for pale ales, and I would agree, very solid work here. Pick it up. Uh, you should be able to find it most places. And until next time, I'm going to say cheers.